there was another cop on the other side, like the passenger side. He was twisting my leg like he was trying to break it, telling me he was going to break it. Tonight, we hear from the man at the center of an excessive force complaint that led to a Lafayette police officer being fired. That surveillance video you're looking at now was taken inside the Lafayette Parish Jail on November 28th. The man in handcuffs was arrested on domestic abuse and resisting an officer charges. And threes on the street tonight, Victor Georges joins us live, uh, joins us from outside the jail with new insight from the man at the center of the case. Victor. The incident happening right here inside of Lafayette Parish Jail. The man who was arrested claiming he was a victim of police brutality. And now he's telling his side of the story. It's an interview you'll only see on three. When they came and they started asking me like what happened and I started telling them. Dennis Lessard was arrested in November when his girlfriend called police after a night of drinking that led to a fight. So when you told me to put my hands behind my back, I put my hands behind my back and next thing you know they pin me to the ground and they start dragging me to the cop car. Lassard says he was pulled from his dreads and another officer was beating his legs. There was another cop on the other side, like the passenger side. He was twisting my leg like he was trying to break it, telling me he was going to break it. Lazard was brought to the Lafayette Parish Jail, where he is seen on video with now former officer Pablo Estrada. But Lazard tells me he couldn't claiming he was in pain from his rough arrest. Lazard says he was in jail for two days and now he's ready to take legal action. I really want to take it to court because that was really wrong. I understand, uh, you know, you got a job to do and everything, but you ain't really have to do all that. Lazard's girlfriend, who called police, now says she wishes things had gone differently. Do you regret calling the cops that night? Yeah, to see him going through that, yes. Lafayette Parish Sheriff's Office tells me they did not press any charges on former officer Estrada. They reviewed the information and sent it back to LPD. The department fired Estrada in February, three months after the incident. Three's on the street, I'm in Lafayette. Victor George's KTC TV3. Lazard was arraigned earlier this month on those domestic violence and resisting arrest charges. He has a pretrial hearing in May. Now, as for the former police officer, we've reached out to Pablo Estrada and his attorney. We've yet to hear back.